Hey guys, what's going on? We are now less than 24 hours out of the first ever Arnold Classic UK, which your boy will be crowned champion as always. Uh, got here a little bit late, so tanning. I'm saying now we have to wait till later. Bit of BS, but it is what it is. Uh, you know, Tavik, that getting down here was fucking absolutely manic, but we done well. Carb up's going well, water loading's going well. Uh, we've had no complaints. Done a little bit of training this afternoon. Done a little 30 minutes. Okay, that may be unusual, but I want to see how the carbs are in the body and um, basically they are flushing around quite nicely, so we can't complain. Um, and I think you guys will see a better, a better, more conditioned, a bigger Nathan than you've ever seen before. Hopefully, it's a clear win. Um, you know, it's night and day, so not, nothing can happen and be said. Um, hopefully, you, you guys enjoy it, enjoy the content. Click the like button, subscribe. Um, see you guys soon, baby. Peace out, motherfuckers. Nathan Diasha. The big boy. Where are you going to play tomorrow, Nathan? As always, first, under the eighth pro win. Eighth pro win. You seem quite confident about that. You've not seen anybody here that scares you? Not really, mate, no. Come here for the win. I thought that's someone on with. So I'm not going to take a speak up, but I'm going for a second. We need to take place. We need to take over. That's it. You only ever slide. <laughs> Nathan Diasha. Okay. Arnold Classic UK tomorrow. You are the heavy, heavy favorite. You beat Rolly Winkler finally. finally. You've been in Kuwait. Now you came back two days ago. What will we see tomorrow? Um, you see, a better pocket than beat Rolly Winkler two weeks ago. Uh, wow. A few weeks ago. Um, See you Super tomorrow. Come on, there. ladies and gentlemen. I'm a lot sure. I'm a lot sure. Thank you for turning up tonight. Thank you for Got supporting us. Back. Um, we're going to see a more improved Nathan Diasha. Last time you guys seen 80% being Rowley. You're going to get a good 95% here in Nathan right now. Really? Yeah, bro. And I'm, you know, we're picking, we're picking, we're picking good for this. We're trying something. We're trying something different. Because what we're trying now, we're hoping to bring through to next week to the Olympia. So, you know, this is a this is a not a walkthrough, just I am an experiment to go from that. Guys, everyone is this is the favorite going in. He's promising a win, and you you want to become the first ever Arnold Classic UK champion, correct? Yeah, of course, buddy. This is my home turf. I'm at the trophy to stay in England. You know, it's Arnold UK. I believe the trouble should stay in English. That's why I'm here today. Um, also, you know, for me, it means a lot because going to the Olympia, if I took place top three, top four at the Olympia, okay, that's good. But my family aren't there. You know, I'd rather be here. Everyone keeps calling they go to the Olympia, but I'd rather be here right now and, you know, all my family and my friends see me and win the show than place anywhere in the Olympia because you can't, you know, you, the family mean more to me and to celebrate the victory of the family than a fourth place with by myself, mm. to me, means a lot more, brother. So, this, this for me is, is more personal and hopes to, hopes to be better. Mm. What a year, what a year. Stood up to the, to the government, <laughs> pro win, beat the Rolly Winkler. Finally and got now, him, bro. finally got him. And now, let's see. Well, Tim Budensheim said it's his time. What do you say about that? Um, let him think what he was, what he wants. If he couldn't be the 80% Nathan, <laughs> then you ain't gonna be the 95, 100% Nathan. So you can keep talking, talking's cheap. Um, I talk, people know I talk a little bit of shit, a little bit of hype, but I back up on stage, man, 24, you know the score, eh? I back up on stage 24-7 and that's what we're going to do. If I win confidence, I'd say it. You know, you see a lot of guys, oh yeah, I'm here to win, do this, but they don't believe it in themselves. Mm. They say they're here to win, but they don't believe it. If you believe it, bro, put it out there and say you're going to win. And, um, you know, I want to do you guys proud, Ian's Ian proud, and, you know, Tim's a good athlete, but, you know, he's, he's not English, I want to keep this title in England, not for as long, for as, long as we can, so... While it's here, I'll be here every every Arnold Classic England. I'm gonna keep on cycling here, bro. Mm. Good luck tomorrow, guys. Thank you, buddy. Tomorrow, the live stream, it's free. Hope everyone is tuning in, because tomorrow we're gonna see something special, correct? Something crazy, brother. Crazy. So guys, we are now back into the hotel. 
it's 10 30 at night um, we'll eat the last meal and then call it a day uh, what I want to basically go into on this last section is the mindset of myself on how I prepare for these shows you get some people who are you know are a lot stressed tired and um, you know worried and stuff and take things take things too serious but myself I don't I don't I don't, I don't believe in that I chose to do the sport um, I chose to compete and that's that's what that's that's what I like doing basically. I like competing. I like being on stage. Although I get nervous when I'm by myself, but when other people on stage, then you know it's e it's it's easy for me. Um, this show has been it's hard for the simple fact is that you know I could have put the Olympia at jeopardy at the line to the show, but right now to me that's not really a a problem because for me the way I, the way I go the way I go into it is. Basically, I've got 100 or 150 friends and family going to the show um, and at the Olympia I'll have no, I'll have no one. So if I, if I win this show, for myself, that would that, I mean, that I mean a world to me. Share it my friends and the family, people who were there through the journey, the hard times and the good times. To where if I was to you know, place top three at the Olympia, what I believe I could do, top four, and serve it with just my coach, um, it's, it, it, it isn't the same. For me, anyway, you know, um, family's everything. You guys know that from the podcast. You guys know that from me talking on my Instagram and my, my kids. This, this is this is what I do it for my family, and my kids. So I'd rather share this moment with them. And also, you know, at the time of me signing the contract, I wasn't aware. Well, we wasn't told of the circumstances regarding the USA and the flights that all changed. So you know, you've got to run with the times. I put my name to it and I'll stick to it. This is the first UK basically UK Arnold and I want to be you know remembered in history right now for me I want to be you know the biggest ever UK pro winner you know I want to I want to succeed Dorian okay I might not su succeed him, him doing Mr Olympias but I want to succeed him basically on, on pro wins and put my name down in history for as long as as long as it can be so that's my goal hopefully tomorrow I can make it eight pro wins and obviously by the end of the season we can make it ten but you know, guys, if you are doing a show, enjoy it. You know, bring it all in. Be the friend and family. Don't take it take it serious, but you know, have that mindset to where this is for you and your family, this is what you want to do. Don't get paranoid, don't start panicking and freaking out and do all crazy shit. Just enjoy it. That's what if, if you're not enjoying it, then don't do it. I say, you know, and I enjoy it. My friend my friends and family enjoy it. You know, the kids are even getting involved in it now. They hope it's meet Arnold, but that didn't happen. So for me, that's the main the main thing, um, and all, also you know it's I represent my gym, which for me, um, right now I'm building a future, hoping to build more gyms. Financially, that's a good thing for this for this show as well, because you know the reward fans is is huge, and that can again I can go towards another gym, and I'm trying to set myself up for after bodybuilding. And I believe you guys should do also. We see a lot of pros who aren't doing that, who've got nothing to turn back to. But for me, I want to set myself up while my name's hot, why you know, why I'm doing what I'm doing. So that's my mindset on you know, basically on the shows and taking things in and doing things. And plus, I believe the show's gonna be fucking fantastic. You know, seeing the guys there say for Khabib, fucking unreal. And these are people who do bodybuilding show. So I believe it's gonna be. Fucking larger than life tomorrow. People will be screaming the house down. It'll be the biggest crowd we've seen. If you are, if you're not there, then I'm sorry if you're not able to get a ticket. We will put on a show for you. Um, hopefully, you know, log on to Forward Podcast. You know, we'll be live streaming it and um, play by play also. And um, let me let you guys know what I think. DM myself for what. You know, even comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. What we could have improved. If you like the physique, like the package. If you didn't. Or even if you want to fucking, you know, try and abuse you on my long torso, I actually don't give a fuck because end of the day, this torso is one fucking eight pro shows. I mean, if you fucking want for it, start giving me shit, you fucking keyboard warriors. But it is what it is. Um, I really do appreciate you tuning in, taking the time to watch this. Uh, it means a lot to myself and my family. So until next time, guys, whenever that may be, hopefully very soon. Peace out. God bless. Take care. Stay true to your loved ones. Peace.